So occupational therapy, our role is kind of maximizing a person's independence with their everyday um, activities. That could be the basic things like being able to get up and get dressed and shower and toilet and all those things, or it could be um, their leisure activities, like maybe they enjoy playing tennis or they knit or something like that. Usually when a person comes into a hospital, there's a reason, there's a decline in some sort of function within their body and then that affects their functioning otherwise. So our role is kind of looking at how far are we from their baseline and where do we need to get them back to. So I knew I wanted to go into healthcare. My mom is a nurse. I went into a program and I shadowed a bunch of healthcare providers and the one that stood out to me the most was occupational therapy. So I kind of started on that path and here I am. My grandfather had a stroke um, and he was like an avid fisherman. He loved his OT. Once he mentioned OT, I, again, in high school, had no idea what that was. So I did a little research, kind of felt like it would be a niche that I would like, observed and fell in love with it from there. And then you can work on people's like pinching abilities. My favorite part is definitely when you're with a patient and they've been struggling with being able to get their socks on or being able to brush their teeth because they're not able to open the toothpaste um, or they have really bad tremors. But then you problem solve with them and you figure out ways to make them more independent. I think it's just restoring that sense of normalcy to patients. Even if it's just giving them that one moment of, hey, this is my normal routine. Like I can stand at the sink and brush my own teeth. Um, you, you just kind of see that glimmer of like hope in a sense that, okay, yeah, I'm here, but maybe I'll get back to how I was like functioning back at home.